Hi guys, it's me Ty and I'm back with another unboxing. As you can see, I have with me Nendoroid number 539, Hatsune Miku Harvest Moon version. Um, and for those who don't know, this version of Miku was sold as an um, Good Small Company exclusive uh, that they originally made for, I believe it was the Shanghai Expo. And then they afterwards, they sold it from Good Smile's online shop only and through different conventions. But uh here she is as you can see she's really pretty this one was done with the kind of Chinese flair as like I said it was for like Shanghai Expo um, and based off a illustration by I believe it was a Chinese illustrator also um, and so here she is very pretty as you can see her hair is slightly different from usual um, which you'll see more once I take it out. But yeah, even the front of the box is nice. It has like um, like this little gold swirl So yeah, design. you can see that she's kind of a, a special Nendoroid based on even how there's like a little circular moon shape um, window for the Nendoroid to see out of. Um, inside the interior, you can see it's also like the gold coloring, kind of like this little design pattern here. Um, it doesn't look like she comes with many items, but really there's a decent amount of pieces in here. They just, you can't really see it. Can you guys get a glimpse? But yeah, so again, here's the front. Here's the top, and you can have a better picture of how pretty this Nendoroid actually is. This is actually one of the prettiest Mikus that they've Nendoroids that they've released so far. Um here's the bottom. Here she is from the side, and you can see with this red design here what I was talking about. Um it ha kind of has like a Chinese feel for it. Um, and back here on this side on f and here it is from the back so as you can see definitely a very pretty Nendoroid overall even without it just being Miku so yeah let's get into it okay and here you can see we have the standard Nendoroid instructions which we've seen about a hundred times by now and here we have Miku in her blister pack. So you can see some of the extra pieces that she comes with that you couldn't really see from the front of the box. Like these extra arms, these two face plates, another arm with a flute and a fan. Um, flipping it over to the back, here's where her base is and uh, the raiment, well, the scarf that goes around her shoulders. Yeah. And one other item that came with the Nendoroid is this little background which is cool like a little nighttime background with the moon and looks like shimmers and water so very pretty guys um, this was taped in between the lining of the box so if you guys can't find it that's where you should be looking but yeah very pretty and just another nice detail um, to add to the Nendoroid. Uh, okay first up you can see the standard Nendoroid extra neck joint and you can see the arm for the base Pretty short, but still pretty similar to the standard. And, <laughs> yeah, I dropped that. But uh, yeah, here we have the Nendoroid base. And as you can see, it's pretty big, much bigger than the standard Nendoroid base we have. Um, only have one other Nendoroid with the base this big, and I believe that's the, the Isuka Kotori from Data Live. That one's huge too, but yeah, pretty, really big. You can see all the different holes in it. Also, this piece already came attached for the background. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can take it off, but I'll just leave it for now. So yeah, normally that's separate, but they kept that on already. Okay, um, first up, I'm just gonna show you the few face plates, which you can see, this is kind of like a happy, smiling expression, very cute. Um, it does have little red lines here that you guys can't really tell, but kind of almost like she's blushing a little bit. But overall, very happy look. Here we have the second faceplate, which is her flute playing face. Or if you want to call it a sleepy face or a whistling face. I don't know what you want to call it, but this is the one for her playing the flute. Very cute. Um, just out of the arms, I'm going to show you this one just because it's holding the little moon cake. Like I said, this is the Harvest Moon version in celebration of like the you know, Harvest Festival, um, where they eat moon cakes. So, here it is. Very detailed, really cute. This other hand, which is holding a flute. Really cute, very tiny, very thin. 
so I know it's hard for you guys to see because it's really thin, but and still just really to show cute. off another hand. Here is the hand holding the fan. And you can see the fan has a little tassel on the bottom of it. Adorable, even though it won't really focus. There it is. Can you see the flower design on it? Okay, guys. First pose up which is also our first opportunity to view Miku without all the excess plastic on. And what you may notice right away is, yep, she can stand on her own, which as we all know that something is, I consider it like a plus right then and there, um, as I usually hate dealing with um, the arm for the uh, base. And I love when an android can stand on their own and I don't have to go through the aggravation. So as we can see with the pose, she looks stunning, very beautiful, so pretty. And like I said, as a first look of the Nendoroid, um, you can see her, her prettiest feature right here is her hair. As you can see with the little knots on top and how it swirls at the bottom, and but how the bottom of the hair uses like translucent parts, really very pretty. Um, pick her up. You can see the whole Nendoroid has the Chinese feel to it. I uh, love the little flowers up in her hair um, and also she's holding a fan which is also translucent as I showed oh, before. Okay and so you can um, see here her, her dress is more like a almost like a peach color and with like a hint of mauve around the sleeves. Very pretty and again uses translucent parts at the bottom for a little bit of ruffles and I love how it kind of flares out in the back. Really pretty gown. Um, also you can see her scarf or the raiment as it's called I believe. Um, for this piece, I don't really care for it. Um, I have one on one of my other Nendoroids, the, um, the Isuka Kotori from Data Live. And that one is made of translucent parts also, but it's kind of softer and flexible in material. Um, this one isn't. It's kind of hard and feels almost slightly, not quite brittle, I don't want to say, but definitely not as flexible as the other one is on the other Nendoroid. But still, she looks pretty overall, so that's a minor thing I can overlook. Um, again, the little flowers in her hair. I love the little tassels hanging from the sides. She's overall, like I said, guys, very, very pretty. I think she's prettier than the other Nendoroids I have of her, and she's like number four. Next pose up, and it's a pretty one. It's Harvest Moon Miku playing her flute. And guys, she's adorable. Just gorgeous. Very pretty. Um, for some reason, it has like a serene feel to it. Um, maybe just because of all the mellow colors and just such a pretty pose. I really love it. Um, especially turned this way to the side. Now, I know I could have posed it slightly better. Um, you know, as usual, just trying to get everything to look exactly as good as it does on a box is a little bit hard for me. But she looks pretty, you know, just on her own. And again, um, you can see she's standing without her base. So, yeah, I definitely really love this pose a lot. Um... I have to say, the only difficult problem I had with it was once again this piece, her scarf piece getting in the way. But other than that, there wasn't too many issues. Yeah, definitely a very pretty pose. I really like this one, guys. And uh, depending on how the last pose goes, uh, if I don't choose that one, this one definitely will go on my shelf. How cute is that? Really? Okay, guys. Next pose up, and it's another adorable one really adorable um as you can see sorry if there's so many shadows in the background but as you can see she has that blushing face on and she's holding the moon cake towards her mouth so it looks as if she's nibbling on it really cute i really love this one not as cute as the one the last one with her playing the flute but definitely really adorable um let me turn her to the side sorry if there's a little bit of shadow over her eyes Without the stand, it kind of, and her head is kind of tilted a little bit forward. But yeah, as you can see, she looks really cute here. Um, just somehow with the expression, it makes her look really innocent compared to like the other poses that came before her. So yeah, really cute pose, guys. Love it. Final pose, guys, and it's a stunner. Miku just looks terrific with the moon in the background, and you see the starry night sky, and what looks like to be little ripples in the water behind her. She's adorable. Somehow she's like looking over her shoulder. She still has the blushing face on, but with the fan up in her hand, it's just a really pretty picture. Also, you can see how like her scarf is actually this time over one ponytail. So 
yeah really adorable I really love this pose um so far they've all been really adorable and I really love them all but this one is just so pretty I really love it um and if I had more space on my shelf I would have this one um but with the large base that will kind of take up a little too much space for me right now but yeah guys she's really pretty i really love this nandroid um final thoughts um so far everything about this was good and it would actually be a score of a 10 if it wasn't for the fact that i constantly had an issue with this scarf every pose so i will bring it down to a nine just because of frustration level but other than that she's so pretty everything else about her seems to be perfect um as you can turn her right here yeah just such a pretty picture like i said out of all the mikus i have i mean i only really have four but uh, so far, she's the prettiest I've seen. I love all the details to her. I love the serene look to her. Um, she's just a really a beautiful Nandoroid. So I don't regret her at all. And I doubt anyone actually would. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.